What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we have a very special reveal to show for y'all and talk about with y'all. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, so we have for us today to look at a very rare but very special Platinum Eagle unboxing, unveiling, whatever you want to call it, and no, it's not this one, okay? Now, y'all know I've had this one ten thousand for a good long while now, but today we finally have in our hands, and the packaging is very interesting, a very rare and special quarter ounce Platinum Eagle. So I'm gonna open this up for y'all and we're gonna showcase it and we're gonna talk about it a little bit. But I was able to get this for what I would consider a very, very, very reasonable price and deal, okay? Now the quarter ounce Platinum Eagles, y'all know my limits of roughly $1,500 an ounce spot price. I won't spend more than that including premium, so that's just not what I'm going to do. But what we have today is right here, a very, very cool quarter ounce Platinum Eagle. All right, this is what we got as our latest Platinum pickup, and it is a stunner, right? It is in very good condition, I think. And what's interesting about this is this is the rarest, the lowest mintage Platinum quarter ounce Eagle in bullion form the U.S. Mint has ever made. Now, as you can see here, you know, it's not in perfect condition at the end of the day. It is a 17-year-old coin. So, take that as you will. I don't know if you're going to be able to find a perfect one given that age, especially loose and raw and whatnot. But we'll take it out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look at her. And wow, she is gorgeous. As you can see there, there's some markings from handling and whatnot, but not, nothing too bad. You got your standard reeded edge there. You have a $25 face value, and it says quarter ounce platinum 395. So this makes it to where we have our one tenth ounce. We have a quarter ounce, and we also have a half ounce. But the 2007 in particular, in the quarter ounce version of the Bullion Platinum Eagle, is the lowest mintage. I'm going to showcase for y'all on the screen the mintage numbers so that y'all can see for your, yourselves that it is the lowest mintage. So what does this mean going forward? Well, if I continue to stack these, I might go after the full set of quarter ounce platinum eagles. I don't think that's something that a lot of people really have gone after and really kind of tried to go for, right? Most people like stacking the one ounce versions but I really enjoy the fractionals when I can get them for good deals. And the fact that I have the lowest mintage, well, it's only down from here as far as premium and harder and harder to get. Now, there are some other dates, as y'all can see on the mintage list, that are a little bit lower mintage, but not anything quite as low as this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that coin in one of these capsules, if you will, so that we can protect it and we can keep it secure and make it a little bit less easy to lose, if you will. <laughs> but this is an overall an epic pickup for sure. I'm so stoked to have this in my stack of platinum coins. And the Platinum Eagle is a very popular coin. It is probably, arguably, the most popular platinum coin of any sovereign mint. Now, if you're not in America, maybe that's a little different. Maybe in Australia, the Perth Mint's a little more popular or, or any other country like the Royal Mint in the UK and whatnot. But as far as the US is concerned, Platinum Eagles claim the highest premium. Now, this coin actually had a higher premium than your standard one tenth ounce Britannia or Kookaburra or what have you. But I just saw this up for sale on auction on eBay and I was able to get it for a reasonable price. I'll showcase on the screen what I paid. As you can see there, I paid $340. 
Now, you can get a random date from Liberty right now at the recording of this video for about 337, 336, 338, whatever. So it was a couple dollars more than buying random year, but spend a couple dollars and you get the lowest mintage. I don't think you really are hurting too bad doing something like that. And I can still get the random year and chances are they're not gonna send me a 2007. So that'll help me complete the entire set of quarter ounce platinum eagles. Now the US Mint could always throw us a curveball and start minting these again. And if that were the case, maybe this won't remain the lowest mintage for long. However, it'll still probably remain lower mintage. So it'll probably always have some type of numismatic value attached to it, being that they didn't mint very many in 2007 and they're not gonna mint any more. So once again, this puts us at our one tenth, our one quarter, and we do have a half ounce, but I don't have it with me, unfortunately. I'll have to go and get it from my location where I store all my precious metals, or a lot of them at least. But epic, epic pickup indeed. As you can see there, there's the difference in sizes. I mean, clearly there's a clear difference in a quarter ounce and a tenth ounce. We got our $10 face value, our $25 face value. The half ounce has a $50 face value, and the one ounce has a $100 face value. And interesting note is the Platinum Eagles have a higher face value, pretty much double that of the Gold Eagle, even though the Gold Eagle is more than double the price of Platinum at the recording of this video. So awesome, awesome addition to our Platinum stack overall. Super stoked to have this in the stack. Super stoked to um, start stacking quarter ounce Platinum Eagles. And I can't wait till see what the future holds you know hopefully we can complete our set over time i mean it, it will obviously take a bit of time being that i have been stacking very slowly although consistently over the past year or so but who knows what year will come next i don't know it's anybody's guess if i see a low minted year i might pick it up or i might just get that random date and kind of just take a look at the draw kind of pick but that's what I have for y'all today. Let me know what your thoughts are on the quarter ounce platinum eagles. Will y'all stack these or do y'all think the premiums are way too high and you just can't justify it in your own mind in your own stacking dollar cost averaging and whatnot. I love platinum eagles. I wish I could get more of them, but it's just difficult for me to justify the premium sometimes. But we may actually try to go after the full set of quarter ounce platinum eagles. So that's what I have for y'all today. I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date future updates on the Platinum Beast channel. With all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.